was a huge shad. I mean, look at that. That's a four or five inch bait. Oh, I got one. I got one. I was drifting that shad, and I got a big one. water and a dropper rig here so on top I've got this popper I've already had a few go for it and on the back I tied a little some string off of that back hook which they usually don't hit the back hook they usually hit the front hook tied some string off the back and I've got my uh, pulser jig that's been working for me so well um, and that's what he went for he grabbed the pulser jig just a good way to kind of replicate replicate the schooling action that these fish are used to chasing you can see if they want the top water or the, the bottom rig. Oh, there one boiled on it. There's one. Oh, I hit the top water. That one hit the top water. Didn't stay pinned though. Saw several strikes in there. There's one. Stand down pretty well. Took the top water. So we're getting them on both the top and the bottom rig. So we've got a lot of hooks flying around here. There we go. We're getting hits on both of the top and the bottom rig now, right now, which is good. That one was right out in the rapids. Oh no, coasted into the rapids. Did that happen? Gotta get this back. Okay, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, and I'm out here. Might as well make some casts. Oh, they're hitting at it. There's one. Oh. And they like that popper. There's one. He was right in the rapids on the other side. It feels pretty heavy. He's got, he's got him on the back one. Oh yeah, that's a nice white. Oh yeah, that's a really nice white bass. He just, just smoked that back one. Look at that, he's been hooked before too. Fish has been caught before. It's a wiper. Look at how we got that bait all the way down his gullet. He's been released once, and I'm gonna release him again. There he is. Little wiper. Oops, sorry man, that's 
rough release. They're hitting this, uh, hitting this rig almost every time, almost every cast. Goes, it shows the draw power of putting a bait on top and on bottom. And they've got their choice. That wiper is sitting right there under the rapids, but on the opposite side of the fast water. So maybe I'll try and wait out there again, I don't know. Those ducks are right where I caught that last one. There's one. Yep. I think I got him on the back one, on the grub. He feels pretty good though. Yep, I got him on the grub. Oh yeah, it's a wiper. Getting some larger, larger ones here today. Oh man, I need a net. Some nice wipers out there today. He also took the grub, but I would guess that he was probably attracted by the top water. Nice wiper. They seem to be mostly in the heavy water today. See if we can catch anything with the cast net. Throw a live shad down there for a second. Look at those beautiful shad. Those are gonna go on the line. See if we can get a wiper. I'm one of those guys. It seemed like they were right out there. Oh yeah, we found them now. More, more shad. Are those shad? Giant, gigantors. Oh yeah, we're getting some tankers, man. My goodness. I'm gonna put a whole shad, still a little bit alive. I'm gonna put the whole big shad on this, on this circle hook and let it float down there. Maybe I get a big wiper. It's a big hunk of meat. It's a big hunk of meat. I can barely cast it. Pretty big shad for something to eat. It's gonna to have to be a wiper almost. Big, big shad. Look at that big wiper. Oh, I got one. I got out when I was dripping that shed and I got a big one. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this could be a good wiper or something. That was a big shad he ate. That was like a five inch shad. That actually worked. I didn't know if that was gonna work or not, but a big live shad, got a big one to go. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. I don't know if it's a, could be a channel cat or something. Hope it's a wiper, come on. Be a wiper. I'm not really fighting like a wiper, but it's a catfish. Nope. Man, he ate that big shad. Five inch, five inch shad. That's a nice fish too, jeez. Oh yeah. Use the big bait, get the big fish. There are some big ones sitting down there. Look at that guy. Man, netted those shad and it paid off. He was barely hooked. Nice, solid wiper. Three and a half, four pounds, probably four pounds. Three and a half, four pounds. But. All right, I didn't know if that was gonna work, but the old shad 
That was a huge shad. I mean, look at that. That's a four or five inch bait. Oh, I just threw off my shad again. Crap. Well, probably the end of that. Hey everybody, just finished up down there. Pretty good again. Caught some white bass and some wipers. Same story as usual. Um, did try some new techniques. I think that's uh, something you can take away from this video. Um, tried a popper with a, a pulser jig behind it. That worked really well. I was getting lots of strikes. Didn't hook up as much as I would like, but I caught probably uh, five nice white bass and wipers. Probably the coolest thing I take away from this little trip was I was netting some shad for catfishing. And also I, I wanted to try and throw some shad in there and see if the um, white bass and wipers would hit the shad. But all I could catch was these like five inch plus shad. And so I just decided to hook one up and throw it in and it didn't take long and I hooked a really nice wiper on it. So that was kind of fun. I might try live bait a little bit more in the future. But uh, yeah, I mean, things are good. I th I'm gonna go try another spot right now and uh, spot I haven't tried that much. And uh, yeah, we'll switch things up here a little bit. See you later.